I'm Gina, I'm the Chief of Product for Ovuline, the maker of the Ovia Fertility and Ovia Pregnancy apps. I'm also 23 weeks pregnant today and I'd love to take some time to talk to you about what's going on with our baby's development and our bodies this week in our pregnancies. This week, the baby is the size of a bunch of grapes. It's about a foot long still, um, weighing in around 20 ounces, which is really like a pound and a, and a quarter, a pound and some change. This week, the baby is constructing blood vessels in its lungs that's gonna help it breathe on its own once you give birth and the baby's out there in the real world. The baby is also pretty transparent at this point because it's developing arteries and veins under the skin. However, that transparency is soon to go away as it's about to pack on that cute baby chub. In addition to swelling, some symptoms you might experience this week is carpal tunnel. Uh, carpal tunnel really surfaces as a tingling or numbness or a pain in your wrists, fingers, uh, and your hands. Um, it typically goes away after pregnancy and a lot of healthcare providers don't even choose to treat the symptom. Um, however, some providers may give you a splint or ask you to uh, refrain from certain activities. Around this time in pregnancy, uh, many women start to look for signs of preeclampsia, which is a condition characterized by an increase in blood pressure and protein in your urine. Some signs to look for would be uh, symptoms like excessive swelling or excessive nausea, changes in your urine, changes in your vision, uh, headaches and abdominal pains. Um, however, if you know experienced independently, headaches and abdominal pains might be completely normal. So it's a good idea to track those symptoms in Ovia, uh, so you and Ovia can, can look out for certain trends. Many women in week 23 also start to experience Braxton Hicks contractions. I've yet to experience these, however, I've heard they're just mildly painful and really just a sign that your uterus is preparing for delivery. This week's pregnancy has been a fun one because the baby has decided to kick a lot more. <laughs> the, pay, the baby is moving like crazy, uh, especially at night when I've uh, decided that I'm gonna go to bed or <laughs> to rest, that's when the baby really starts kicking in there, which is kind of fun. A high for me this week was definitely planning my baby shower, or deciding to do a baby shower with my family. I was hesitant to do one. Uh, I don't really like parties uh, thrown in my honor. They make me uncomfortable, but you know, just hearing the joy in my family's voices when they wanted to plan the shower really just reminded me that you know I have all these people in my life that love me and already love my baby before it's even born, uh, and that's what motivated me to want to do the shower. However, a low this week I had was picking out a registry for the baby shower. Um, I thought I'd be super prepared for this, um, having worked in pregnancy for a few years now. However, I, even I was surprised by how much stuff uh, the baby is going to need. I've been trying to, to limit uh, the, the, the registry to only the things I'll need in the first few months. A product that I loved this week uh, was baby stuff. I, I decided to start buying things for the baby, which might be a little too soon, but I couldn't really help myself. Uh, so a couple things that I bought was um, a little sock monkey. Uh, I just saw it and I just needed to, needed to have him. I thought the baby just just would love him, I meaning I would love him. Um, and then I also bought her um, some little socks, little Converse socks. You know, I wanted her to, to, to not just, you know, not just be feminine, I wanted to be a little sporty as well. So I wanted to get her um, some athletic gear already, right, right out of the womb. An app feature that I love this week were the ovations that Ovia sends me uh, into my, directly into my timeline. So Ovia will send me ovations for things like if I got a good night's sleep or if I tracked my weight that week. Um, one that I loved this week was an ovation that the, the baby has developed taste buds. Thank you so much for watching. Come back for next week's episode to learn all about baby's features that are developing as well as some sexy changes to your skin. Uh, working at Ovulon, I'm just so honored to be part of millions of women's pregnancies every day and I thank you so much for being a part of mine. <laughs> no. You're supposed to eat it? You're supposed to eat it. <laughs>